And I was wondering if you can both maybe tell us uh, how the Snow White story entered the work and how it all started. You would started to develop a, a connection between your mom and Snow White. Yeah. Which, which I think started this relationship between his childhood and the Snow White image. Well, suddenly you're acting out and you know that the, the pathway is going to go a certain direction and you could say, I'm going to back out of here, this is too weird. On the other hand, you keep going because that weirdness is going to maybe really, something's going to happen here and you're going to make it something that counts. The piece was being made back before. We were working on the piece and then, yeah, we shut it down and we started back up and part of re-bringing it back was that the Armory was here, but when it started, I said, look, the piece is going to be what the piece is. I don't know what it's going to actually turn out to be. You know, like what we actually do, we won't know. And I knew back then that the subject probably would, would cross lines. Lines of what? I don't know, violence, sexuality, because it was going to talk about all that. It's almost like the work sometimes actually surprises you. Makes and like it's no, sort of almost way. like an autonomous being. But it, it's an autonomous being and you can take, but you can also say elements play a part. Like elements outside of our control play a part. And they, they begin to mold it, you know? Like in one way you could say the piece happened because the armory happened. Like there was a molding process right there. The video, I you know, in that room with those eight screens in there will be crazy. I mean, it's going to be an environment that's probably like no other one. 